Hi, and welcome to Man's Matters, the Erectile Dysfunction Shockwave Clinic. Today, I want to discuss erectile dysfunction and Viagra. Quite simply, Viagra has changed the world. That innocuous little blue diamond-shaped pill has changed many men's lives forever. But even more than that, it has made erectile dysfunction a mainstream topic. Prior to Viagra, men who couldn't get erections were described as impotent, a word that was then liberally used to describe people that were failures in other parts of their lives, or unable to have the strength or power to make decisions. The message to most sufferers was clear. If you can't get a proper erection, you are a failure. You are not a real man. But Viagra changed all that. It made erectile dysfunction mainstream. And whilst few men would admit to having erectile dysfunction problems, many were happy to report that Viagra could seriously enhance their male prowess and sexual abilities in bed. Now, the shocking thing about Viagra was that it was never actually intended to be a drug to treat erectile dysfunction. It happened purely by chance. The medical scientists who developed Viagra were testing for a cure for cardiovascular diseases, not erectile dysfunction. It started 25 years ago at Pfizer at Sandwich, Kent in America. The scientists discovered certain chemical compounds were useful in treating heart problems like chest pains or angina. During subsequent clinical trials, they found that the drug had very little effect on angina. But a totally unexpected side effect of this medicine was witnessed. Sildenafil, the generic name of Viagra, could improve and sustain a man's erection. Much of the rest is history. And today, Viagra is one of the best known drugs in the world. Virtually all patients that have developed erectile dysfunction over time have been prescribed Viagra. But Viagra and the equivalent tablets only play a limited role in erectile dysfunction and you should not think it is Viagra or nothing. Viagra works on the vascular system, your arteries, veins and blood vessels. It opens up all these blood vessels so that more blood can rush much more quickly into the penis. Remember we mentioned that you need 20 times more blood than normal to become erect. One of the issues is that men become reliant on pills like Viagra and just like any other drug, if your body becomes reliant on it, the bodily function becomes less efficient. We treat many men at Man's Matters who have previously heavily relied on Viagra and now find that their problems are getting worse. So, if Viagra has its limitations, what are the other options? We cover these in our other videos. The most advanced option on the market today is the use of shockwave therapy. The whole success of an erection depends on enough blood flowing into and staying in the penis. Shockwave therapy, when applied to the penis, will break up fatty deposits that clog up your blood vessels. It also creates totally new blood vessels. The more blood vessels, the more open the blood vessels, the more blood will flow into your penis and, therefore, the better and harder your erection. It is not just men that have problems that are using shockwave therapy. Many men have moved from Viagra to shockwave therapy as a way of having a permanent sexual boost and roll back the years. To learn more about our erectile dysfunction shockwave treatment, visit our website at mansmatters.co.uk and check out our video, Erectile Dysfunction Cure, which provides a comprehensive overview on all treatment options and a detailed animation of the shockwave therapy.